Hello! <laughs> like, yeah, stream elements. Just being, like, ten minutes behind the times. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Hey, Pyro. Hey, Orc. Oh, man. I don't know if, um... Uh, either of you caught the end of the last stream. But I have a small rant. Small rant. About the game. This is probably my only criticism of this game. I'm, I'm sure I'll come up with some more things that, that, I, that I didn't, like, absolutely love. Um, but... So, at the end of the last stream, I found, uh, I found, like, the place I needed to be. I got into the Ash Twin Project. I got the, the power cell that I need to finish the game, uh, which I know how to use that for, for the final true, true ending. Um, oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Pyro. Yeah, it was like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on, like, lipstick today. I'll go, like, the extra mile, you know? Because I was going through all my stuff to, like, declutter it a little bit, and I was like, I never use these things. I need to use them more. Spent money on it. Gotta use it. So, um, yeah, so I, I went through the whole, the whole shebang, and then got credits for a very lackluster ending. I almost wish the game developers had not included the credits at all at the moment that they did because I think that any time a game presents you with credits, they are offering that experience as, as a full package. They're like, this is what we offer you. And I think that at any point that you receive credits, that should be a point that you can stop playing the game and not be missing out on substantially more. Um, which in this game, if I had ended the ended the game at the last stream and never came back to it, I have a hunch that I would be missing a lot. So we're gonna find out how much um, there is left. I'm excited to dive into it. Uh, I'm sure I'll circle back to that rant a little bit later um, and have a little bit more to say about it once I've seen the other ending. But that's something I've been thinking about since the last stream is like, why... Why would the developers put that first, especially since I'm much more likely to get that ending first? I don't know. I have... It just feels like they're not putting their best foot forward, I think. Uh, they're kind of... I don't want to say they're setting the player up for failure, or they're just expecting you to go back and find more endings, but... I don't know. If there's credits... I think they should... They should make it obvious that that's like an intended path. And or uh, Pyro, you're going into lurk mode soon. No worries, no worries at all. Thanks for the lurk. Saturdays are kind of a mixed bag because not a lot of people are streaming, but people have lives and they do things that uh, are off the internet on Saturdays. Unless you're me. Uh, where am I going? I'm going here. Just gotta make sure I'm not going directly into the sun. Oh, too fast. We're going too fast. Gonna set up for a stream? Oh, nice. Awesome. This I don't expect to be a very long stream. Um, so I kind of, I'm expecting, oh, see the sun. No. Oh, God. Ah, uh, nope. Alright. That was a test flight. That was a test. We are- that was a test and we failed. <laughs> That's fine. This is all good. Oh, it feels like my computer is still waking up. It's all jittery. Man, I, like... I have such mixed feelings about what I'm gonna do when I'm done with this game. Like, I have played this game. This is my day, what is it, 13? I have played this game 
for like a full month on stream. Something like that. And it has been such a wonderful experience the entire way through. I learned a lot about like what I want out of my stream and like what kind of games I kind of want to make sure I'm always playing. It's, I don't know, I'm like, I'm really sad to, to uh, be saying goodbye to this game soon. I've thought about what it would be like to do a uh, second playthrough, and I think it would be interesting I think it would be cool, but maybe, like, I feel like it would have to be on my own time. I don't know if it would be interesting to stream it if it's not a blind playthrough. Um, and I'm also wondering, like, what game I'm going to play next, because I, I'm really excited for Subnautica Below Zero. Really, really excited. Like, counting the days until it launches. But... My other consideration about it is that is also going to be a pretty heavy exploration game, I expect. So I might, I might want to break. Like, <laughs> I might want to play something more narrative or, like, something like The Last of Us, for example. That's weird. It's, like, turning a little bit on my own. We're just waiting for the sand to go down right now. Um... But, yeah, I, it's like, I also, I'm tempted to play Subnautica, like, right at launch, but I also know that there's going to be a lot of people playing Subnautica right at launch, so maybe it'd be better if I waited a week or two and then picked it up. Hey, Allie. How are you doing today? My control... Why do all my controllers not work? I don't know. I have to just invest in a new controller soon. This one's just always listing to the left a little bit now. I don't know. But the other one also uh, has drift. Watching your nephew. How's my day been? It's been good. Actually, it's been very good. I'll tell you more about it later. Um, but overall, very good day. Uh, I did a little bit of cleaning, did a little decluttering, uh, got to sleep in. We're gonna get to the true ending of this game today. And I'm just like, really sad about it because I I like I just enjoyed this game so much like I don't know exactly it's kind of hard for me to rank my favorite games but I can see this one being in my top five um, and I think that this game will always have a really fond memory for me as being a, a, a multiple stream game where I played this game for like a month um, and it was the first game that I really dedicated that kind of time to um, and so like I'm always going to remember it fondly for that reason but also it's just such a phenomenal game um, hey Pyro how are you welcome in glad I'm enjoying it yeah I'm really enjoying it and, you know, that's something that I'm really excited about with, uh, um, streaming in general. So I'm gonna get to play a lot of games that I haven't played before. Thad, you missed the Ash Twin Discovery? It, it is okay. I mean, I guess there's the VOD if you, like, really want to see my, uh, my surprise and astonishment. It was very difficult to figure out that puzzle. I think it was... When we get when we get over there in a minute, I'll show you what I mean. But 
I kind of dislike, uh, here it is. I kind of dislike this puzzle. Um, I know that the game added more hints to make it more obvious, uh, but I still don't think it was obvious enough. Um, just, just because I struggled to figure it out. It was not obvious to me. Um, And maybe that was just my fault. Maybe I just, like, didn't pick it up as quickly as the game was putting it down. But you had a friend to help you with it? See, that's what I've heard, is, like, most of the people that I've talked to who played this game had help with this puzzle. And that makes me think it's a bit of a flawed puzzle. I don't think that your audience should struggle across the board with the ending of the game. Rosa, hello. Good to hear I'm loving the game. I absolutely adore this game. I, uh, dis despite my current criticism, um, I think this is in my top five games of all time. Absolutely. And we're right at the end here, um, where I've gotten, I've gotten the untrue ending and now we're going for the true ending. Untrue ending. I don't know what else to call it. The lame ending. The ending that I don't think should have had credits. That's what I'm going to call it. The ending that shouldn't have been. Um, which I'm definitely going to talk more about now that we're here. You did eventually get that you had to run into it, but you continued to, um, continued to do it from the hallway. Yeah, so... Um, what... what confused me is the first time that I attempted to do this, um, uh, I, I was standing on it and waiting and waiting, and then once the sand started hitting me, I, I did my thrusters like that, you know? Um, and it just didn't work. I just got picked up immediately. Uh, and I, I feel like that solution should have worked, and it just didn't. Um, oh yeah, this is the hardest puzzle, but with some of the hints they added, there's a place where the game explicitly reveals the solution. Yeah, where, I'm curious, where is that solution? Because it, I never found it. Um, and I've definitely, I've read all this stuff, so I am going to go past it for now. I may come back. I might have to switch my controllers, because this one is, uh, is being, being a little fussy, which is unfortunate, because it's my better of the two, but... The Black Hole Forge, which is a pain to get into. Yeah, it's such a pain to get into. That was one of the last places that I got. Um, Alright. Cool. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I will say that is probably my only other critique. So aside from that one puzzle and that one ending, I don't like this method of moving things. It feels, um, it, it feels difficult every time. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if this works. So I haven't been told how to get the true ending, just for the, uh, just for the, just so everybody knows. Uh, hey, Rose, uh, Rosa, thank you so much for following. Thank you. I, uh, I knew, I knew what happened and my, my brain, my brain got tongue tied. All right. Such cool music. Now I can actually enjoy it, and not just have the sun explode on me. Alright. Let's go. Oh, actually, you know what? Actually, we're gonna mark it on the goddamn map. Where is it? The vessel. Yes. 
Uh, I have an idea. My my hunch is that we have to bring it to the vessel, and uh, and then the vessel will uh, teleport us to the the uh, center of the universe, or the uh, you know what I mean. That's that's my hunch. I, I I only know of one place to put this core, and that's where we're going. Yeah, best song. This is this is great. I love this remixed song. You must have missed the vessel. So when you played, was that ending that I got on the last last game? So you you take out the uh, the core and then die. Was that the ending that you got? I think I remember that the red one is faster. Oh wow, the music in here is different too. Or it's just like a muted version. So glad that oh man, actually, you know what? I have to I have to switch out this controller. I hope the other one, this other one will work. Uh, but um it's drifting to the left so much that it's actually like annoying. Let's just try this. You're so glad that you randomly caught the stream right as I'm testing out this idea. Yeah, what timing, right? Oh, this might get me eaten. Fuck. Uh, this one is firing the jets. The other one was at least just turning me, but this one's actually firing the jets. All right. All right. It's all right. We're going to we're going to figure it out. By the time you got to the core, you'd gotten credits twice, actually. So maybe there's way more endings than I even know about. I assume there's two, but I'd bet there's more that I just don't know of. The only one I've gotten so far is you are dead. <laughs> well, at least this one isn't drifting anymore, I guess, uh... Unplug it and plug it back in. Sometimes it just works. <laughs> but I'm curious, for those of you who have played and love this game, what other games do you recommend that are in the same wheelhouse? I know that this is such a unique game that that's kind of difficult to, uh, to really, truly offer something that's as similar, but... Smash Bros. Melee. Hey, Nine. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if that's really what I'm thinking. I get what you mean, though. Critical Hits Live is raiding! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the raid! Raid! Hey there, G uh, GTP Titan. How are you doing? Dr. Sweet Brown. Hello. Tower, hello. Let me give you a quick shout out here. One moment, please. Oh, Allie, you beat me to it. Oh, thank you so much. How was your stream? What were you- you were playing some Gloomhaven? Oh, you know what? I was lurking in there for a couple of minutes. I don't know anything about Gloomhaven, but I just started playing- there's like a- a quick setup variant that we have, like for tabletop, not- not for the digital version. But my partner and I started playing this, so it has like the book that opens up, and then you have your uh, uh, your map already set out, and then you can just like start playing. Uh, and it was my very first introduction to Gloomhaven ever. Previously, I had only heard that it's like very involved and and very long gameplay times, and that was kind of intimidating to me because I've played a lot of tabletop games, but nothing and not very heavy tabletop games. I was playing like. Um, 
Forbidden Desert and uh, Pandemic and that kind of thing, like uh, the Four Souls Binding of Isaac game. Jim, thank you so much. Also, hello. I yeah, I wanted to I wanted to uh, actually use some of my makeup collection today and actually get some use out of the stuff that I spent money on. You're yet to find another game that scratches the same itch as this. You've tried a lot that people suggest, but you're still looking for more. I feel like I'm gonna be in that same boat for a long time. Ah! 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 Fuck! Never mind! Never mind! Fuck this game! I take it all back! Fuck! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that... That was, uh... That was a lot. <laughs> That's why you watch blind streams now. Yeah, I feel that. Um, I, uh, I think Subnautica scratches the itch in a similar way, but it's much more crafting. Oh my god, st stop with the drifting. Oh yeah, um, Nine, you said uh, Rain World is similar in that way, that you're not told the story or how to play, you gotta piece everything together yourself. I, I've been I've been watching you play Rain World a little bit, and I am very interested. I like the art a lot. It reminds me of Ori. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Please, excuse me. I'm so disoriented. This is like in a different, uh, different orientation than the first time I got here. All right. All right. Hell yeah, gravity. Oh, love to see it. Apparently there's some DLC in the works for this game. Um, which you're, you're trying not to get too hyped about. I mean, I'm excited. Um, what the hell does this do now? I think that's a teleporter. I want to kind of see what the hell this does now that this has power. Uh, the last time I was here, I was trying, ooh to figure out what this does. And I still don't know, but I want to try more. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited that there's DLC coming out. I can see why you'd be hesitant. I don't know if that does anything. I'm sure it does, I just don't know what it does. This all looks the same. God, having gravity in here is so nice. Um... Oh, yeah, no worries, Allie. Is this a teleporter? It may be, but that's not what we're supposed to do with it. Uh, yeah, sorry, no links in the, uh, in the, in the chat, but you can toss it in the Discord. Or if you can just say the name of it, then I'll just, I'll just look it up later. I'll just write it down.
So my other idea here was that maybe, like, the middle one all has to be... Uh... Down... Up... Left... Down. Down... Woo! Aw, oh, shit! God damn it. Fuck, fuck. This is why I don't like this. Like, I know exactly what I want to do, but because... Like, especially with my controller drifting a little bit, it's just very difficult to... I guess we'll just leave that down. Alright, alright. I should have known that this wouldn't be as easy as just put the thing in the thing. Only part of the game where mouse and keyboard is superior. Yeah, because, like, I, I was originally trying to play on mouse and keyboard. Oh, too fast, too fast. I'm oh, so disoriented. That's how I came in. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, critical hits. Definitely, um, do any, do any of your post-stream self-care that you gotta do. I know how it is. I really appreciate the raid. Um, and I hope that Gloomhaven was super fun. Okay. Alright, game. What? Was that the, the loop? Shit! We were too slow. Alright. Okay. It was fun? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Yeah, that felt really fast. Uh, am I in a Nomai space station or something? Are the, they are Nomai skeletons. Um, fuck. Um, all right, so my hunch didn't work. I can, yeah, I, I am, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna try some stuff. We're gonna fiddle with it. Um, another game I would like is Abzu or Journey, definitely. Uh, I love those games. Or Flower. Yeah, I actually, it's funny. So, um, uh, that game company, the people who made Journey and Flower, um, their first game that they released as a company was... Uh, uh, flow. And I was so inspired by Journey specifically as like a creative uh, interpretation of video games as an artistic medium that I actually got a tattoo from Flow. I, I love that game so much. I'd show it to you, but it's like on my ribcage. <laughs> Flower's so good. It's so good. So, such just a, a lovely game. What a lovely little game. Um, but yes, uh, what was I saying? Nine. Yeah, the, um, uh, if I ever get sidetracked when I'm in the middle of answering a question, definitely just, like, poke me about it, because I, I don't mean to get distracted and sidetracked, and I do want to answer questions. So that shuttle is what the, uh, Nomai used to teleport to another star system to get to the eye of the universe. So what I did is I took the core from the um, Ash Twin project here, uh, 
that that does the repeating cycle. That's what keeps us waking up every time the star explodes. Um, uh, and we're, we're plugging it into this other system to teleport us away. Hopefully. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. Oh! I get it. I understand. Where are you? You're over here. Yeah. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking. Hey, Loof! Welcome in. We are, uh... This is... This game is fucking wild, you guys. This game is nuts. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Loof, how are you doing? How did you... How do you like Resident Evil so far? Uh, we don't want to go there first. We want to go here first. It's so good? Oh, that's great to hear. I remember, um, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I, I like, I have no idea how many people I follow, but I follow a lot, and like ten of them were all playing Resident Evil at the same time. I was like, holy shit. I like feel bad, um, that Resident Evil is just like not quite my game, but, um, I'm so glad to see that everyone fucking loves it. Also, Nob! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid! You were- I assume you were playing Resident Evil. Oh my gosh, hey, Damon. Nob, how- so you're- I assume you're loving it, right? Yeah, you know it? Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad. I love when a game comes out that everybody is just so happy with. Like, I, I I was just saying when you came in that Resident Evil isn't quite my game. I'm not a horror game person. I'm, I'm not into into the, the super intense games, um, but I love watching people play them. How's the stream going? It's going well. We're, we're I feel like we're just started. Um, also, Nine, yes, I think you should play RE7 first because it's a direct sequel. If I understand correctly. It gives you Resident Evil 2 nostalgia. Yeah, I'd like, I like... It's funny. I've been watching everybody play all the different... Uh... Resident Evils while... With the anticipation of this one coming up. And that's been so sweet love to see it oh my gosh but welcome in raiders i um i i'm really bad at introducing myself whenever there's a raid but uh, my name is ray um ray elise um but you can call me ray you can call me rachel what, whatever floats your boat i'm a variety streamer with a focus on indie games um anything that has like strong narrative and i like puzzles is super up my alley um and I've been playing Outer Wilds for for a few weeks now, and and I gotta say it's one of my favorite games now. I'm absolutely adoring it. No, so like when people ask me what I love about this game, like no game has given me such a sense of wonder and curiosity. What is this? So the sand is, like, pouring from one planet onto the other. Um, and so this planet that I'm on is slowly shrinking, or quickly shrinking, um, depending on how you look at it, um, with the sand just, just falling. Uh, Luke, thank you so much for plugging the rules. And the commands. I kind of forgot that I had made that command. Hell yeah. No, thank you so much for the raid, Nob. 
definitely go take care of your, your post-stream self-care. I know how that goes. It's great to see you. Right now we're just, we're actually just waiting for the sand to all get picked up off this planet uh, so that we can teleport to, to where we gotta be. I'm just being impatient by running around so much. There we go. So we actually want to be at this next one. There we go. This is where we want to be. While, uh, while on the planet. Uh, you mean, yeah, yeah. So if we just, like, look at this, you can see that the sand is actually just, uh, let's get out of the way. No, don't pick me up. Don't pick me up. I don't want to go. Uh, if we just watch here, you can see that it's sinking. Revealing, slowly revealing the planet. Yeet! <laughs> And now we wait. So how's everybody doing? How how has everybody been? Happy Saturday. Happy day or night, wherever you are. I'm having a great day. I have spent way too much money on food this week, though. Let me tell you guys. I, like, went shopping, and I got takeout, and I ordered, like, a meal kit service. Like, all in the same week and i i now just like can't buy food for like the rest of uh i'm gonna i kind of want to go refill my uh i'll be fine i can wait uh i just need to like not buy food for a while um you're good you're sad that you can't support some of your streamers since they're spoiling resident evil 8 yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, they're not even playing it and they're spoiling it, because that's kind of unfortunate. Like, if I am... Like, I'm playing Outer Wilds right now, right? And if I go into someone else's chat and I mention that I hit a milestone, I'm very vague about it. I'll, I'll say, like, in if, if, like, the streamer has already played it, for example, and we're just having a conversation, like, they ask me where I'm at. Um, I will let them know that, like, oh, I, I took the thing from the thing, if you know what I mean, but, like, without actually saying anything. Something like that so that we can kind of, like, briefly mention it without spoiling it for other people in chat, because that's not, that's not cool. Especially a game like Resident Evil 8. Like, that game just came out. Like, it's, it's pretty reasonable that no one has finished it yet. All right, here we go, ready? Teleporting. So, um, for, for those of you who don't know why we had to wait, um, uh, we couldn't teleport until the sand, the planet was lined up with that uh, teleporter. So it has to wait until the sand is like on top of it. I think I know what to do. I think we know. I think we've figured it out. Uh, da -da. Oh! Minari! Yeah, the movie night. Um, which I'm not gonna talk about on stream, but I've heard things that are exciting. And I may or may not be there, but I plan to be, if it if it's happening. Wink, wink. Love that you can see your ship spinning around us wildly. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Uh, all the weird perspective switching in this game. Everything's all over the place. It's it feels really cool. Um, it was hard to get used to, though. I will fully admit that. Um. 
Oh, this music's so good. Alright. Yeah, victory music! Let's go! This game is amazing. Uh, can't wait to play it yourself. Looks like it could be one of the best games ever. I, I am very impressed with this game. Like, I definitely have criticisms about it. I don't think it's a perfect game, but I really have thoroughly enjoyed every moment I've played it. Um, like, I think Mark has a great saying, uh, Mark from Book Club for Games has a great saying where there's a big difference between being lost in a game and then being lost with direction. And this game does a really good job of making sure that you have moments of being confused as to what to do or where to go, but you have an idea of what you need to do. And I think that's very important. Because if you're just lost in trying things, for the sake of trying them with the hopes that you'll solve a puzzle that you haven't figured out yet, that's not fun. Like, I like trying things and testing things, but with the expectation that something will happen. And in this game, you get that. Man, my controller is drifting so much. But yeah, when I think that a game that kind of has similar vibes to this game is, um, uh, oh, please don't. Ah, I hate it, I hate it. I just hope that my controller doesn't keep drifting. I'm gonna order a new one today. It's been decided. I will order a new controller. Uh, but Subnautica, I think, is very similar to this game in, in a few ways. The exploration and unknown, the feeling of the unknown is, uh, is uh, similar. And honestly, just like the movement in space with the ship, I also think is very similar. Every time I drift past these guys, you hold your breath. Me too, Allie. Me too. Yeah. Dr. Friendship, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Um. It's a great name, yeah. I've seen so many, like, really fun names on, uh... Dr. Enemy, thank you for the follow. I've been seeing so many great names on Twitch lately. Um, there was one that stood out to me a couple weeks ago. Uh, someone named, um, Quantum Walnut. I was like, that's such a cool name, Quantum Walnut. But maybe it's just because, like, so I, I, uh, used to work in CS, and my alias for, um my customer support tag, uh, was Walnut. Y'all rivals! <laughs> Dr. Friendship and Dr. Enemy. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Legendary battle. Oh, I'm here for it. I thought about changing my name a few times. Um, I really like Ray Elise, and I like Ray, uh, but Rachel is like my real name. And so I, it feels kind of weird when everybody has these like really cool names that have nothing to do with their real life existence. It makes me wonder if I should try to come up with something else, but I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm using it for a while. I'm not gonna change anything today.
tried to hit me with a chair earlier. Lies, lies, slander in the chat. Um, you guys are gonna have to team up with Dr. Horrible. Alright, I know what to do. Oh, I should have looked at the ship. God damn it. Well, at least we'll get some gravity first. Already holding warp core. Ugh, insert warp core. Oh, thank you. We're gonna come back. I have to- I, I should have written it down, but I didn't, so we're going back. Oh, I did it again. I went too fast. Ship, I need you. I could have parked closer. Terrible parking job. Alright, let's at least refuel. Alright, I got my sticky note. Alright, we got downward that way. We got a little person -y dude. And then we got up. Up center. Down right. Up center. Up. Alright. I am not a god. The <laughs> chair emote. <laughs> I bet someone has a great table flipping emote and I want it. Oh, I love that we had to get the coordinates. I hope this works. If this doesn't work, I'm sorry. I, I am so disrespectful to the dead here. Just smashing into everybody. Alright, cool. Gimme. Gimme. Oh, it's not. Gotta get power. Gotta get power. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Here. To here. To here. Alright. One. Two. Here. 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 I'll catch up on chat in a minute. This is this is important focusing. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. Let's undo it. Let's undo it. Alright, we got here, 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 here. I'm getting like nervous. Just like that, th that this 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 feels right. God damn it! All right. Okay. All right. Come on. Hey, Imbels. How are you? Ah. Let's check what's going on under here. Alright game, we got the coordinates. What's the deal? this before, but I, like, want to check if I missed anything. Uh, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's proximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump afterwards. We'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't be a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal's source. Everyone get ready to warp. Did I plug something in wrong? I 
I heard something move. Like, I keep hearing something moving. Is it getting further away? I'm locked in. Ship. Oh my god. <laughs> Allie, I'm glad it didn't take me too long to try it. I'm gonna stand here and wait for a minute. Again, I guess I'll double check that there's nothing to do, but I don't think there is because I'm locked in here. Yeah, our son. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I'm wondering if we're going to watch it explode. I assume we are. Save, watch the sun explode from a safe distance. Yeah, but then what? We can't go back? There's not, not going to be anything there. Oh, there, there it goes. Now it's shrinking. All right. Kaboom. Whoa. Dang. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, man, this time we actually watch him die. Oh, hey, it's the quantum moon. Hey, man. What's up? So this is where you were. I see one other star. Oh, hey, there you are again. Sup? Wonder where else it'll appear. Just all around. There's one more star in the night sky. It's that one. I guess we'll go live with our friend on the quantum moon, because this is, this is it. This is the end of the universe. I wonder what happens if we try to teleport. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. The moon is the only thing that matters now. Well, fuck, guys. Shit, were those credits, like, the only credits? And <laughs> we're just here forever? <laughs> I wanna... I would like to leave, sir.
that's that's cool. That's 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 cool. That's cool as fuck. Let's go. Oh hey, sup? Um. So we're on either the North or South Pole. I think we're at the North Pole. Fuck. For a second I thought this was the Quantum Moon, which like wouldn't really make sense in the- Oh wow, there's like no. Yeah, the most gravity ever of any of the planets we've been to. This looks ominous. Hey, question of the day. Have I ever stopped playing a game because it was too scary? Um, I stopped playing Amnesia about halfway through because I was just like, fuck this game. <laughs> It is a fitting question, yeah. I so I uh, I picked that question because this this game did have its scary bits. Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> Ali, Ali, you're my favorite. Oh, hey, some oxygen. Are we gonna find some living nomai? All right, we had we had quantum cactus. Now we've got like a quantum forest. I don't know why I paused. It doesn't seem like there's any reason to pause now because it's not like the game is. Uh... Uh, da -da, let me read chat. Um, one hundred went from zero to spooky really fast. Uh, you stopped playing this game for three days because you were paralyzed by existential dread. No, yeah. Um, Jem, you just scream all the way through. Uh, some, someone else, what else? I missed a couple of things. Ali will scream a hundred times, but she'll get through. Yeah, Ali, you're good at just, like, pushing through those games. hundred percent. Um, any game with a boss made of eyeballs. Uh, you couldn't make it through Outlast 2. The game spooked you too much. Outlast was a lot. I I, st I played, like, the first hour of it, like, on Halloween with some friends. And it was, like, not even, like, a true playing it, like, by myself. Um, this game is scary in, in many ways. Yeah, I, I uh, have a new fear of anglerfish. Harvey. Hey. I'm so sad that my mic doesn't pick up his meowing. Oh no, don't get up, bud. Oh, good stretch. Good stretch, buddy. If I move my camera, he's gonna spook a little bit. Yeah, he's doing some cat yoga. <laughs> buddy, look at your legs. Look at his legs. These, like, back legs here. <laughs> good boy. What a good cat. I'll snuggle back in. He is such a cutie. Y'all should see Mango through a haunted, haunted house. Hey, this is very similar to the arch on the quantum moon. I wonder what happens if we go through this. Resident Evil 7 tapped into your deep fear of balloons and clowns. Oh no. That's cool. That's very cool. Will I be able to get up this? I 
could go into the center. If I do, I'm stuck there. Let's just go around. We don't have a time constraint, except for oxygen. Actually, we just refilled our oxygen, so we're okay. Let's try over here. Alright, I do not see an easy way to get up. Okay, we're gonna go in. This looks cool as hell. Gotta say. Oh, I have a little bit of lift. Ooh, almost. Alright. Oh, there we go. Game is cool. 100% true. Oh my god. I have to, like, make sure I'm really paying attention and otherwise I'm just gonna this shit and reach out. What the fuck? Excuse me. What? 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 The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Herthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. It is so dead quiet. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about when I started the stream and I was saying that I didn't understand why the game had credits when you take the core and die. This is why I don't understand. If I had missed this because I assumed that credits was a valid ending to the game, I would have missed one of the most substantial moments in this game. I, I pretty firmly believe that the game should not have had credits where it did. Maybe that'll change if there ends up being no credits here, but I, I expect that there there will be at the end of this branch, at the end of this trail path, whatever I'm gonna call it. Wow. The universe is ending. There it all goes. Enjoy the silence. Wow. Wait, I'm like... I'm like flying around a little bit. Whoa, did I like move? Wow, wait, what? That was so sleek. That was so sleek. That was so clean. These are all different galaxies that are all just evaporating away. This song makes you tear up. I, I, I'm gonna say that the soundtrack is gonna give me a whole lot of feelings when I listen to it when I'm done with this game.
Was that me? <laughs> this game! Excuse me? Oh, there's a chair now. Hey, man. Esker? Do you hear music? I like, I don't want to blink because I don't want him to leave. Stand in the campfire and die. <laughs> All right, man. Uh. Oh. Wow. 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 F marshmallow. I um I meet might be one of those weirdos, but I actually like to just burn my marshmallows. All of these big trees explain why there's so much wood. Driving in your car when the end times plays. Yeah, like if I ever hear that song of the reset uh, out of context of this game, I'm gonna just be quite confused. Can't end the universe without burning a few marshmallows. God, all right, like, part of me was expecting that when I ate that first marshmallow, it was just gonna roll credits. <laughs> now I'm like, what? Now what? Maybe the universe is the marshmallow, and this is all a big metaphor. Oh, there's the entrance. I just didn't see it. Wait, no, this wasn't here before. I still can't go in. Alright, ready? Yeah, there we go. Damn it. Love all the travelers, but especially Rabbit. And <laughs> just didn't see it. Yeah! I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. You'd think that at this point in the game, I would just, like, have it all figured out now. Please, game. Hey! It's, um, not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for the next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. It might, might not even exist here.
What? I mean, I see... Oh. You enjoy Radex meek small voice. Me too. Me too. Gather your banjo spoons and washboards. We're a <laughs> we're a fine fine a ho fine a have a don't ho oh my god. What the fuck is happening? It's crazy. I'm running low on fuel. Let's go to this one. Let's go to a different one. <laughs> yeah, those did look like stars. Maybe the stars are the hoedown. I think I just went by somebody, but we'll go back. Ah! 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 No, you're not invited! Could you not? Can't show up without an invitation. Come on. You did not get a plus one jellyfish! The jellyfish are cool. They can stay. Let's see. Did he show up? man. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. I think Felspar is probably my favorite. I just, I appreciated the sass that he gave me. It won't let me, like, go to that one. Let's do this one. Maybe we have to do them in a specific order. Love Felspar's chaotic attitude to everything. Yeah. I just remember asking him, like, a question. And he was like, I think that me telling you the answer would be spoiling it. That would suck if you just, like, didn't have any fuel left. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Let's try this one again. The band. One thousand? What? You guys, I can't even, like, I, I can't even put this all together. This is wild. I 
I forget which one and which direction these all go. My face is priceless. <laughs> Just constantly in shock and confused. That should be my next emote. Just like confused bird. So graceful. Was that the the guy from the? Uh... Yeah, it's our friend, um, Solanum, from the Quantum Moon. Hypothesis: Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I'll believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. Aww. Yeah, he's cool. I love his, uh, his outfit also. Okay, but like, can I use this thing? He just made noise and stretched his toes. He's very cute. Yeah, come on, shirt. God damn it! Game, please. Wait. Oh, I don't think I ever realized that you can do this. <laughs> never used this. <laughs> I went the entire game without ever hitting that button. Hey, Chert. Shall I begin? Yes. Well then, here I go. Yes. Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Time to find out. Uh, let's let's get the other guys first. Pull out the good old harmonica. Here goes nothing. Gabro, what do you say? Time, buddy. Ready to start the music? Yes. This should be cool. I can't play music. I can't wait to play music with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. I won't let you down. Let's 
is so nice. Oh. So nice. I wish I had a little instrument. Conscious observers enter the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time for us to find out? This song is new to me, but I am honored to be part of it. has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse uh, in, in innumerable possibilities for us. Innumerable. I get it. I get it. Innumerable. I get it. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Jeff? Am I ready to learn what comes back? Oh, also, hello! I didn't see your message. I saw your follow before your message. Hello. Hey, Jeff. How, how are you doing today? Am I ready to learn what comes next? Yep. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. I tell you what, this has been really fun, and I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? You cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. I hope there are besties in the next one. Excuse me, sir. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. I never really, uh, it's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's, um, time for something new now. Are we going in? Is that is that what's about to happen? I, I think it is. Y'all following me? Here we go. Love this game. I love this game too. Is it the Big Bang? Are we restarting the universe? Blue, hello!
the complexity. <laughs> Outer Wilds. A Mobius Digital Games production. Now that's an ending. I'm not crying, you're crying. Wow, see? Oh my gosh. That was cool. I'm still kind of thinking about it. Listening to music. I am very impressed with this game. I am really glad that I played this and that all of you were here with me at the end. My gosh, what, what a good game. And this is why I think that those earlier credits do a, a disservice to the game. I think that um, it should have just been another reset it, or just like ended, sent you back to the main menu and then it's like continue and then you pick up where you left off. Um, This feels conclusive, this feels good, this feels intentional. The earlier ending that I got, when you just die, it gives the impression that the game is over because it shows credits, right? It says the end, um, but it wasn't. It was, wasn't even intended to be the ending. It wasn't even like good ending, bad ending. It was just, like, didn't make sense to reset, so they put credits, maybe? I, I don't know. And conveniently timed just as the DLC was leaked. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play it whenever that comes out. I mean, we don't know any information about it yet, but I am excited for it. Nine, thank you for the, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Uh, you don't think anybody seriously thought that it was, um, that was a good ending of the game? Yeah, I mean, so, so here's, here's, like, my perspective was that, like, I took the core out, and then I was, like, I didn't know what to do with it just then. And so when I left, I was, like, I bet I can do something with this, but I don't know what, and then the sun exploded, and then I got credits, and I was, like, oh, that's a valid ending. That is an ending that you can get in this game. You jumped in a geyser before your loop started, so you got the credits five minutes into the game? That's hilarious. See, that's funny. That is very, like, obviously not the end of the game. I think it's just where I got them. Where a lot of people, I, I assume, get them. Uh, you can see both sides in a way. Dying without getting your memories sent back is an ending for you and for all your friends. I'm not sure how the game could really represent that in the game, but understand my point. Yeah, so it's, um, I understand why it's an ending. That's, that's never been in question. I understand why they made that an ending. Um, it just... It doesn't feel good, and it, I think it does a disservice to how phenomenal the actual ending of the game is. Um, there are a handful of others as well, now that I'm done playing. Yeah, I definitely want to see them. Um, yeah, if you have no reason to think there's multiple endings, you get the confusion. Uh, your friend directed you to another funnier ending, which is... Uh, your second credit roll. Which was your second credit roll. Gotcha. Um, I want to see all the endings. Um, Pyro, do you think that those endings are something that I would figure out on my own, or are they something that you kind of have to be shown where they are? Because I know, I know that there's something in the high energy lab, um, but I don't know what it is. You can figure them out. 
But you don't believe it's time effective? Gotcha. The funny one isn't terribly intuitive. I'm curious. I'm, I'm, I want to see more. Um, I'm tempted to... I have about 40 minutes before I have plans, so... I think I'm tempted to see one more ending. Man, if there's, like, a few endings, maybe I'll come back to this and, like, go back and, and try to do all of those other endings. Ooh, 14.3 billion years later. Let me guess, it's gonna be right where we started the game. Wow, that's so pretty. There's the probe! Now that's a wallpaper. I'm gonna go find that. And there we go. We're back. You can extract that image from the game surprisingly high res. Yeah. Load previous save. Let's do it. I'm also gonna tab out for just a second because my internet crashed and I want to refresh that tab. There we go. Alright, the, the fun ending can be done in either the High Energy Lab or the Ash Twins project. Let's, let's do it. Let's, uh... You're back, Fed. How are you doing? Oh man, Nob. We got the true ending of the game, and it was unbelievable. It was crazy. I'd even say that since you missed it, you should go play this game. Let's see. Uh, you don't fully know how to do that one from the high energy lab. Uh, the hell thing you can probably figure out if you play around in there. What's the, uh... I mean, maybe. I was fiddling with it. Let's- we can go and check it out. Glad you missed it. No spoiler life. Hell yeah. Uh. That's you dodging the Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil Village dreams. Yeah, um, Loof was saying that earlier, that um, just even avoiding people streaming other things because there have been people spoiling Resident Evil in their chats in other games, which is unfortunate. I'm sure that there's a faster way to get into the high energy lab, but this is the way I know. The sooner you play it, the faster you can get back to life. That's kind of how I feel about this game, a little bit. Now, well, now I'm not too worried about it because I've gotten that ending, but for a little while, whenever I brought this game up to friends saying that I was playing it and, like, was, you know, 
figuring some stuff out, they would accidentally spoil stuff, like, constantly. Just, like, little tiny tidbits. So eventually I just, like, after, after it happened, like, twice, I was like, I'm just not gonna mention the game to anybody. Until I finished it. I may go back in lurk mode? Yeah, no problem, man. I very much appreciate you and your lurking. And, uh, so this is actually, this is a completely, uh, related just to myself. Um, but I kind of had it pointed out to me, a, a little bit pointed out to me, but also a bit of self-reflection that, like, I realized I've been spending too much time on Twitch. To the point that it is just like negatively impacting other in other aspects of my life a little bit where it's just becoming obtrusive um because i i want to engage in everyone's streams and i want to keep up with what everybody's doing and i want to be streaming myself and you know i want to know everything that's going on and then i like kind of realized that in the middle of conversations that i was having with people in person I was trying to focus on what people were saying on their stream because I had typed something in chat and like someone on like if you're on a phone call I guess it's a little bit different but like anyone who's standing in front of you I think has has precedent over a uh, a conversation on a stream um, Yeah, there's a balance. There's a balance to it. It's a problem. Yeah, it's like, and then other things, like, it's really tempting for me to, like, sub to everyone, and, and, like, you can only do so much, right? As a teacher, you've learned to keep an ear on five conversations at once. That is a skill I don't have. <laughs> it's recognized to, uh, it's important to recognize intrusive habits like that and Twitch can very easily get that way. Yeah. I think it's it just like made me realize, oh, you know what? Tonight I should read a book. <laughs> so last night I logged off at of Twitch early and just like just watched an episode of TV and uh, and read a book before bed. Everyone understands we all have lives outside of Twitch. Yeah. It's really easy t during quarantine and COVID especially to feel like your life is on Twitch. Oops, uh, I always do that, it's fine. But yeah, that's why, like, I never expect... Ooh. Oh, I didn't refill my oxygen, that sucks. I may have fucked myself with that, but we'll see. remember if there was a tree in here or not. So here's the high energy lab. Here's the thing. Here's our guy. Would I like a step-by-step -step or only vague hints in the direction? Um, let's start with some vague hints and if I if it doesn't come to me we uh, will go for step-by-step -step because at this point I kind of just want to see the things. I don't I'm not as concerned about like figuring it out. I got I got I figured out the ending and that's what was important to me. Um, so, has to do with the cores and the holes. Okay. And my scout. So I know that if the 
energy is directed, it's faster. And like this way, it's slower. I'm basically there. Like, I, I know that that is slower. I also know that it only works if I fire the probe at the black hole, not the white hole. So these I know to be true. These, I think it has to be a white uh, a black hole and um, a white hole. It can't be two of each. So we got this. Not sure if this is going to do anything or not. Kind of assume it won't. Yeah, that'd be weird if it did. Yeah, things leave the white hole before they enter the black hole, and that difference is exaggerated with the power stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because they were talking about that with the teleporting before the teleportation had, like, even happened. So from here, I just, like, don't really know what to... A lot of people get the ending by asking, what if? empty ones do anything either. Whoa, that was wild. had the right conditions with the white core, the black core, the power, and your scout. Come on. Come on. I just want you to go to the middle. Stop it. Don't go there. right okay I think it'll matter if I switch them. I 
I don't know. I don't know what else I can be doing differently. I get... Like, if there was quantum stuff, it could be with the flashlight or... Closing and opening this. We don't have a ton of time left. See how it's arriving. Oh, maybe if I, like, pick it up on its way. Too many targets. Yeah, so I can't pick up the scout. Stop the scout from entering? To stop the scout from entering? Uh, what if I take it out? Let's take out the black hole. Ah! Oh. oh, shit! <laughs> achievement. <laughs> you destroyed the fabric of space-time. That was good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Zoo ending. <laughs> it's really funny when you really listen to it. Because they really did each one. Yeah, sorry, links are disabled. You can throw it in the Discord, though. They say it's, it's, um... I think it said, like, so nice of you to stay. Something like that. Oh, that was funny. That was good. Um... You said there's there's another funny one. Is it the same ending, but, like, another way to get there? Because I'm curious to see that, too. That was Alex Beach and the developer saying it's so obnoxious. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um... There's another one at Ash Twin Project has some more interaction. It's that, but more interesting. Best to start off by sleeping for like five minutes. I never really considered doing that. That makes sense. I can't believe I never used this. That makes sense that there's one on Ash Twin now that I think about it. Because otherwise we'd just be going there and just be like, do, 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 waiting around. 14-ish. I assume it's just if you are in the Ash Twin project when the, uh, when the supernova happens because you're like in this protective shell. We'll try that. I'm curious. 
it's a great thing in concept, but players don't often use it. Yeah, I think it's one of those, like, I feel like I never really gain anything by waiting, you know? I, I will always gain something by doing, by using that time effectively. Like, I very rarely use the reset, the manual reset. It, I, it was only useful if you get, like, stuck somewhere. Didn't use it in your first playthrough for fear of missing out. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm like, I might as well do something. I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I think that that's good. Maybe we'll have to wait a couple, but that's fine. I do have to leave at at 7 Eastern time on the dot, so I've got like four, like 20 minutes before I have to go. But I think we can squeeze in one more of these. And if there's more, then I guess I'll just have to do another Outer Wilds stream. Sucks. Oh, whoops, wake up. Just sleep through the whole fucking loop. This is new music. The other endings are quite minimal, so probably not valid for another stream. Gotcha. Alright, well, we'll see how much we get through. I think it was good to go through them now, because I was thinking, like, oh, we got the true ending, so maybe I'll stop here, but I'm, I'm glad that we, we saw those that other one. Or actually, it's... That one. You think this one is the most interesting, but I guess there there is one more I haven't seen. Okay. The game renders the entire solar system as you play, so you like to imagine all the planets zipping around really fast as you sleep. Yeah. for it to go all the way around. Shit, it's gonna take me. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. God damn it. Shit. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Sorry, we're just gonna have to wait a minute. Alright. We will wait. Most of them are just text based on how you die. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely, like, if there is, like, one like that that I miss, um, uh, at the end here, I'll definitely go and look it up if it's not enough for a whole stream then. Or at least, like, the beginning of a stream and then switching to a different game, then I'll do it on my own. Oh, look at this cat. Hold on. While this is, uh... Oh, I think if I... If I... Hang over. Here we go. Here we go. We can have a Harvey cam for a minute. Okay. Yeah. He's so cozy. I feel bad that I'm blocking him all the time. His little feet. <laughs> Buddy, you're so cute. You are so cute. What a cute cat. Alright. Don't worry, the game was running while I had it had it on Harvey. Hey Arco. How are you? Trying to make sure you can all see Harvey while he's sleeping. A cute baby. Alright, come on, sand. Hurry up. There you go. I'm curious what else we can do in the Ash Twin project. Like, what's what could be left there. 
Unless it's just waiting for the, uh, the loop. Glad to catch another stream. Feels good. Yeah, I, um, I meant to say hi in KY's stream the other day, and, and, uh, I, like, didn't get a chance to. KY's stream is after I go to bed, usually. Uh, because our schedules are opposite. So, but then I've been, like, seeing faces. I'm like, oh, you're from, you're from KY's stream. And I want to say hi to people. <laughs> Uh, open up the core, turn off the gravity, and go give it a hug. Okay. Alright. So we got the true ending of the game for those, um, just coming, just coming in. Um, so now I'm just checking out these, these other endings that I probably wouldn't have gotten to on my own. There we go. The core opens itself up, does it? So, like, you're saying, like, smash into it? Wait, gravity is required. What are you saying? I'm good with it off. Okay, all right. All right, we're gonna smash into it. Hey, Morbid Mongoose. How are you? We're just finishing up Outer Wilds. All right, here we go. Oh, well, all right. That was anticlimactic, all right. One of the pieces in text in here is a countdown. I think it's this one. Ugh. Let me read it. Oh, the supernova has to happen. Okay, all right, so we'll wait, we'll wait. Oh, so Mongoose, we actually already finished the game. Uh, we got the, the true ending, so now we're just doing post-game stuff, yeah. So definitely duck out if, if you don't wanna see stuff but I'll catch up with you in a couple minutes. Four minutes until the end of cycle. Pet his belly, he'll he'll leave. I hear stuff happening. minutes. We will wait. I 
can just stick near the center and it'll be good. All right, we can wait here. Just chill, just chill out. Spooky sound noises. My plan to yeet myself scared you because of the chance of mistiming or missing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I like, I have a hunch about what I'm supposed to do, but obviously I haven't done it before, so I, I only know if my uh, hunch is correct after trying it. Can't get over how cute this cat is right here. Cooler sibling of the victory song, yeah. When I played this for the very first time, I didn't know that the game was looping at first. Like, I just hadn't read anything about the game. I went in completely blind. And it took, like, three loops for me to realize, like, oh, okay, the song happens when the game's about to loop, the sun's exploding, gotcha. Because the first place that I went on my first, uh, loop was, um, uh, Giant's Deep. So, a lot of it I just missed. Um, with the sun exploding and stuff. And so I was like, did something go wrong? Like, did the game reset by accident? Like, is this normal? Now go back to the Ashtron project, okay, all right. Uh, I'm not a fan of how up front a lot of the marketing is about Supernova and the time loop, but I guess they need something to explain about the game. Yeah, it would be very difficult for them to market it without mentioning that it's a roguelite. Uh, roguelike? I don't know, whichever. Hey, Giant, how are you? Do you prefer like Giant Sequina or just Sequina or Giant? I can say the whole thing every time. Whichever. I just like to get people's preference. Giant is fine. Cool. Works for me. Go back to the Ash Twin Project. Alright. You were so mad about the Nintendo Direct. I didn't- I don't remember the trailer. Like, I remember that the trailer happened, but I didn't know anything about the game and I don't remember it to, like, have context. I assume they just revealed a lot. Oh, I forgot to go to the campfire. There is a campfire here, right? They tell you about the sun exploding and how much time you have. That is a lot of information that they just give up front, isn't it? Sequoia. Sequoia! Oh my gosh. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad at names. <laughs> if I am ever saying a name wrong, like that wrong, please absolutely let me know. <laughs> Sequoia. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It didn't bother you. Yeah, I mean, I, I run into the same thing with my name with Realize. People think it's Realize instead of Realise, but that one's just on me with how it's spelled. Um... You knew I'd want the right- Yeah, I don't want to sound like an idiot all the time. Just sometimes. Alright. Alright, let's wait. Yeah, thank you, Allie. I do appreciate it. <laughs> 
No idea there was a campfire here. I ran into it uh, randomly at one point and was like, huh, wonder if I'll ever use this. Probably not. All right. I assume I should be waiting here. Or should I go straight back to the Ash Twin Project? I mean, I guess I have to wait for the sand to drain anyways, so we'll give it a couple of minutes. Takes seven minutes to drain enough. See, like, these are the details that I want. Like, I... It, even if I'd, like, figured out by myself to go back to the Ash Twin Project and try various things, like, I... I don't want it to take all that time to get those little finite details. All right. Sand? There it is. Oh, I don't think we'll make this one. We'll wait till it goes around, I guess. Masterfully done. Like a pro. No one really cares to actually time it and use the campfire. Most people just stand on Ash Twin and wait while standing in the sand. That's, yeah, I mean, that's what I was doing. We can get another Harvey cam. Harvey. There we go. Got the game. You guys want to see something funny? They put catches here to keep people from running into the teleporter from the hallway. Uh, but damn, did you try to do that? 50-50 on your success. Belly rubs and runs away. Alright, so we got this hair tie here, right? He loves hair ties. <laughs> yeah, you get it, buddy. Yeah, you get it. Here's the sand. Harvey's the true star of the show. Always. Sand. I hear it. Ship. <laughs> Alright, we got a couple minutes and then I gotta go. Alright. to self? What the heck happened? If you're me, then I'm as confused as you are. Do you think we have the same memories? Good question. Let's see. I remember all the time loops, including the last loop when I jumped into the black hole and, uh, black hole here. What about you? Me too. Sounds like our memories diverge at the start of this loop. Makes sense to me, seeing how I jumped into black hole, uh, 
seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? That's a good question. It's something I've been wondering about. We're in thoroughly uncharted territory at this point. Uh, we are the feldspar of weird time stuff. Oh geez, Felspar would just use this time loop to try increasingly outlandish stunts, wouldn't they? Might be a good thing they aren't aware of it. This is cool. At any rate, it's been good talking to you. Me. Incredibly strange, but good. There's some really funny dialogue in this, but it may be better to read that on the wiki since there's so many options. See you around. I'll read some of it. Yeah, I can just talk to him again. Talk to us again. This is the greatest day of my life! Sure, two of us uh, is great and all, but is it the greatest? What about the day we, you know, what about that one? Oh, right, that, that one's probably still the greatest. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? But today is probably the next greatest day of our lives after that. Uh, do you think it's okay that there's two of us? Well, we're talking to each other and nothing's exploded yet. Uh, Gosson always says that means the date's going well. Yeah, but it's Slate's definition of a boring date makes Gosson and Slate never dated. Makes sense, Gosson and Slate never dated. Uh, that and the whole mishap of Go with Gosson's eye. Why was I thinking it would murder me? <laughs> Oof, yes, the eye thing. Yeah, that's... yeah. I very much do not want to discuss that. Nor do I. I don't know how to say that. I'm not gonna try. Oh, Harvey, stretch. Good boy. Uh, so hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? I guess we'll find out. I guess so. At any rate, it's been good talking to you. Me? Incredibly strange, but good. Su- what is it? S is it Segway? It is Segway. Okay. I'm like- I- I- I've said this before, but I'm dyslexic and so like reading is just like not my strong suit. Um, I wonder it's etymology. Ah! What have we done? Jumping into the black hole is a terrible idea. Ah! Ah! Just needed to get that out of my system. Ah! Okay, I'm done screaming too. <laughs> this got weird in a hurry. Yeah, duplicating living things probably wasn't that the Nomai had- Nomai- what was what the Nomai had in mind when they built the Ash Twin project. I wonder if they're- if being two of us screws anything up. Well, we're talking to each other and nothing's exploded. Maybe the universe doesn't mind two of us. Hopefully not. Besides, it's an extra version of us. Uh, it's definitely better than if we'd created an extra angler fish or something. That's setting the bar pretty low. Derived from the Latin segue, which literally means follows. Huh. Gah. Yeah, it is seven. Alright. Let's see how much time is left. Nine minutes until the end of transmission. Let me just message my my friend that I'm playing games with and just let them know.
Oh, that's basically it. If you die, it ends the loop. Um, does more happen if I eat through the core again, asking chat, because uh, we could just jump into the, the sun and get the kazoo music again. <laughs> I'm wondering what happens if I, like, die in here. Nothing more happens. Alright, well, cool. Um, in which case... Then let's just go yeet ourselves into the sun. The dialogue uh, with the self is slightly different, but it's mostly the same. Alright. It's incredibly hard to kill yourself in that room. I was like, yeah, I, would have, I was having trouble with it uh, before. Allie, just cheered 100 bits. Oh, thank you so much, Allie. I really appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. Let's see. I know my ship's over here. We're gonna send ourselves off in a moment of glory. That wasn't the glory I had in mind. But we had destroyed the fa fabric of space-time again. How? Oh, I guess just by having a second one of us. I will never get tired of this. Just turning it up on my headphones because I love it so much. Prevented yourself from entering the black hole and you had already exited the white hole. Gotcha. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> Is there a twin for this? Yeah, yeah, so the same reason there was a second scout for a moment. Yeah. I, how? You know? Lots of questions. There were a lot of questions. Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you for making Outer Wilds. Devs. Alright. Thank you, everyone, for sticking around. Thank you for the confusion. <laughs> I'm confused. Nine, thank you for the nine bits again. <laughs> That's sweet, thank you. Ah. <laughs> uh, you get the 22 minute difference? Harvey, give me, give me just a minute and I'll let you out, bud. Oh, what a game. What a cool game. I... I like those other endings. <laughs> those were fun. Um, gonna think about that for a while. I'm gonna be thinking about this game for a long time. This this is one that's gonna stick with me. I am really impressed by everything I've seen in this game. And honestly, the critiques that I had about it were pretty minimal. Like, I didn't love the, the moving stuff with your pointer, with your joystick. That didn't feel very good to me. I wish that it had been like a, a witness where it just kind of like locks you in and then you can just draw stuff. Um, or um, uh, and then that, that first ending with the credits where you just, you know, die prematurely. It, it That part just didn't kind of rub me the wrong way, but I can see why it's there with those other endings, how it kind of fits into that. I think if it had had the kazoo music or something, I would it would have been more obvious that it wasn't like the real ending of the game. But dang, what a cool game. I made so many so so many new friends along the way. We've had so many people that started following because of this game and now now I hang out in your streams, and you guys hang out in my streams, and that's that's so cool. That's awesome. It makes that's just I'm so I'm so new to streaming that this is the first game that has brought in unfamiliar faces, and that's really nice to see. Um, so I really I appreciate you all. Um, 
this game uh, takes you to cool people to hang out and chat with. Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you, Rosa, for for hanging out. Pyro, Nine, Ally. It's great, great to see you all, and, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna get sappy if I keep talking. Harvey says hello and, and goodbye. Come here, buddy. Come here. No. Nope. Loof. Thank you for hanging out, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Let's see. Let me pull up Twitch. Let's see who's online. 